What's up? Welcome to the Rich Barber TV, episode number eight. So, some more feedback we got from you guys, and a lot of people had questions about should I go to Barber College? Should I do an apprenticeship? Okay. And with those two questions, um, I think it really depends on the individual. It's a, it's more of an individual type of uh, question, and I will try to cover it the best I can to where you can make an educated decision and see which one is best for you. Now, the overall goal is to get become a licensed professional barber. Both of those lead to that, okay? But everybody's situation is different. Everybody kind of learns differently and needs different type of uh, learning skills and environments, okay? So, for instance, there's some people that always want, that may want to be a barber but they've never really gained experience in cutting hair. They never really cut in the garage or at home or family members or their own hair or anything like that. And they're kind of like starting at ground zero, okay? So uh, those people, I would always recommend Barber College, all right? Now, um, Barber College kind of gives you more of a, a place to really just, you know, <laughs> make mistakes and uh, really, um, it's more of a comfortable student environment that's created for the learn the learning uh, individual. Okay, uh, the customers that come there pay a low fee to get their hair cut, and they know that the person that's cutting their hair is not experienced and is not a professional licensed barber, and they're willing to risk their um, their appearance. That's good. You want that as a um, barber that's trying to learn you want those canvases that you can experiment that you can practice your, your, your theory and your skills and, 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 and practice the things you see on videos and YouTube and tutorials you want to be able to have those canvases to where it's like okay this guy knows that I might fuck his head up okay but he's okay with that which makes it more comfortable for you in a more comfortable learning environment then you got professionals around you that their specific job is to watch you make sure you're doing things right now, so to go back real quick, I think if you're starting from grand, ground zero, Barber College is the option to go for uh, any barber that has no experience, okay? And so on the other end, the apprenticeship program, okay? Now, there's um, price-wise, there's always a huge difference between Barber College and apprenticeship, okay? And I didn't go through apprenticeship. Me, I personally believe that just get stuff over with and move on. I don't really, I like to have options and choices and if I want to move environments or barbershops and stuff like that so I find the right one that's for me, I wanted to do that and I like to get things over with as soon as possible. But say for instance, if you're someone that's been cutting in a garage and you cut very well on a professional level and you want to start making money, you want to get your career started as soon as possible, finding the right environment and if you got a barber that's willing to put you under his wing, that will be a good mentor that will teach you what you need to know and prepare you to pass the state board. It will take a little longer, but because the environment is suitable for you and it's a good environment, uh, you can just really focus on staying at that place for the um, 18 months or whatever it is required in that state. And um, you'll basically be working as a professional barber, making uh, money like a professional barber, and in an environment that you can stay in until you complete your apprenticeship program. So if all those things kind of align you know, good for you, then um, I say make that jump. Now, it is going to take more discipline and focus to make sure that you complete it because it is long term and you kind of have more of the freedom and flexibility because you're going straight into the professional field where you're held accountable for your results, okay? But because you have the skill level, people can at least know that they're going to come get a professional's um, great haircut and will be willing to compensate you for that. Now, if you're somebody that's starting from ground zero and you go straight to an apprenticeship and you get into a professional barber shop where customers are expecting this certain type of haircut and performance and you're not delivering it, it's gonna be really tough for you. And, you know, reputation is everything. And you don't wanna be the guy that gets that bad reputation and then you have to reverse it, you know, over time. So, invest, you're investing in yourself the more you're willing to invest, the more time, the more money, it all comes back multiplied. It just takes a little time, all right? But like I said, it's, it is situational, all right? So everybody's situation is different. The end goal is to get that barber license, but 
it even goes beyond that is to get that barber license and have a successful barber career which is the real end goal so you want to map things out to where you get to that result with less uh, hurdles and less um, um, struggle okay there's going to be struggle there's going to be hurdles regardless but you want to do it with as little as possible all right so um so yeah so just weigh those two options uh you know barber college costs more but um an uh, environment that's built to cultivate learning barbers that need the education and uh the customers know that or you know apprenticeship it might be cheaper but you're being thrown into the fire and if you don't perform well it's you might just be back over there so take those things in consideration and uh but you know we got a lot of good knowledge and information here at the rich barber tv so check out the other episodes if you haven't already and see if they can bring you value i'll catch y'all next week every sunday the rich barber tv here on my channel come holla at me peace